William Bryden from Wikipedia the Free Encyclopedia. William Bryden, born 10th of October 1811 and died March 20th, 1873, was an assistant surgeon in the British Army during the First Anglo-Afghan War and is famous for being the only European survivor of an army of 16,500 men. He studied medicine at University College London and at the University of Edinburgh. The War the British Army began its retreat from Kabul in January 1842 following the killing of the British representative there. The nearest British garrison was in Jalalabad, 90 miles away, and the army would need to pass through mountain passes with the January snow hindering them. 16,500 British and Indian soldiers, civilians, wives, and children set out for Jalalabad on 6th of January with the understanding that they had been offered safe passage. The Afghan soldiers, however, intercepted them and proceeded to massacre them during the next seven days. A small group of prisoners were, however, taken to and returned to the British at a later date. Many of the Indian soldiers and camp followers captured were enslaved and few probably found their way home again. On the 13th of January, Dr. Bryden rode alone up to the gates of Jalalabad. He became famous for being the only European survivor of the entire contingent to have escaped the Afghan guerrillas. Part of his skull had been sheared off by an Afghan sword. In fact, he only survived as he had stuffed a copy of Blackwood's magazine into his hat to fight the intense cold weather. The magazine took most of the blow, saving the doctor's life. The episode was made the subject of a famous painting by the Victorian artist Lady Elizabeth Butler, who portrayed Dr. Bryden hobbling to the gates of the Lullabad Fort, perched on his dying horse. The painting is titled Remnants of an Army. In 1857, he was a regimental doctor at Lucknow and survived his second siege, that of the Lucknow Residency, June to November 1857, being badly wounded in the thigh at uh, one stage. His wife published a memoir of the siege.